The demo of Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 has arrived, and with it, so did our first goal. After this came another one, and another. After scoring all these goals, we felt ready enough to analyse the highlights of the new Pro Evo for you. Before we start, you should remember that this video was recorded playing the demo version of PES 2013. There are just four club teams available in the game, Internacional, Flamengo, Fluminense and Santos. There are also four national teams to choose from, Italy, Portugal, Germany and England. The realism of the graphics and animations in this version of Pro Evolution is much improved on the previous release. The players, technical staff, stadium and fans are all much better designed than they've ever been before. The audio in the game has been improved too. For instance, it really feels like the players are singing the national anthems. After the anthem, the fans start cheering wildly, and during the game too, the intensity of the cheering varies depending on what's happening on the pitch. The first big change over Pro Evo 2012 is the full control system, a series of new functions that improve the control of the game. The movements of the players in Pro Evolution have never depended so much on the person with the controller in their hand. Passing and shooting is now completely manual, meaning that precision, power and height is in your hands. The pace of passes and their direction can be totally controlled thanks to the help of a small arrow that appears next to the player. At first, th this might feel a bit complicated for non-experienced players, but you'll soon start to appreciate the total control and incorporate it into your play. The second big change is known as Player ID, an improvement that makes individual players more lifelike. For example, in Pro Evolution Soccer 2013, you can enjoy Ronaldinho's trademark celebration, the classic Cristiano Ronaldo free kick approach, the impossible tricks of Neymar, and the no-nonsense play of Pepe. The player impact engine is another improvement Konami has made to its flagship soccer game. Balls move in a much more realistic way and tackles and fouls are very detailed. That said, sometimes you can find some quirks with the animation that seem to break the laws of physics. Another great thing about Pro Evo 2013 is the amount of detail there is in the clothing, the pitch and the expressions on the faces of the players. The animation is more realistic and replays, goals, celebrations and game highlights are all very easy on the eye. At times it's just like watching TV. Another detail to note is the little animation that appears when you make a quick strategy change during the game. The coach will get involved and start barking instructions at the players. In regard to the artificial intelligence in this version of Pro Evolution, it seems that teams play much more as a unit, there are more attacking options, and goalkeeper reactions have been improved. However, some keepers still have problems with shots and crosses that seem very simple to get right. It's almost as if David James designed this part of the game. To sum up then, although the structure of the game is essentially the same, it feels like the gameplay in Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 has improved several notches over the last version, thanks largely to the new full control system. In the battle between the top soccer games, Konami has scored first.